guys, this is Nirpom with the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now, today I'm pretty excited to announce that Kraken has updated their most popular hydrolytes to the Kraken 6000 WRGBU and the Kraken 4000 WRGBU. Uh, for those of you that were wondering, those letters stand for white, red, green, blue, and UV, which means that these lights are very versatile. Uh, and they're pretty exciting because there's a lot of cool new features in these lights, some cool accessories, um, and I should mention that they're all 20% off this Black Friday at Blue Water Photo, so I'll drop a link to those lights down below, or you can email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com if you're interested in these lights. Anyway, let's get to some specs, my thoughts on the lights. You just saw the footage, so I hope you like that. Uh, let's start out by saying that there has been a change in the design for these two lights. So both the 4000 and the 6000 are the same size. They also have the same battery, which is new. Um, so this is a, forgive me, I'm reading off the box, uh, 21700 battery pack. Uh, it's a triangular shape and it's interchangeable. So if you have two different versions of the lights or you need to get an extra battery, you can do that. You can keep them charged. And along with the new battery, there is also a new charger. Um, and I've been really enjoying the new charger. It has two USB-C ports and one USB port on the charger. So you can charge your phone and the battery, you can charge two batteries at the same time, and you can do whatever you want with that USB port as well. Uh, it's pretty nice to have that, though I should mention the battery does take about three hours to charge. So it's not the fastest charging battery in the world, but it does the job and the burn time on the Kraken 4000. <laughs> I always have to look to see which one they are because they're the same size. Um, the bird time on the Kraken 4000 is 75 minutes, which is actually pretty long. Uh, you can get through a couple of dives of that. And the burn time at full power on the Kraken 6000 is 60 minutes, like a normal light. So that added burn time on the Kraken 4000 makes that a pretty compelling light as well. Um, and let me kind of close this up. All right, so. Uh, now, along with that new battery, we've got new buttons. Uh, there's three buttons now. Now, that's one more button than there used to be on the Kraken 5000 and 3500, but it actually makes it more ergonomic. The reason for that is you press two buttons to turn it on, and it'll flash through the light colors. It does take a little while to turn it on, so what I usually like to do is, before I go diving, I'll turn on the light, and then I'll just keep it on the whole day and it'll have this little ready light on, but it's in sleep mode. So to get it out of sleep mode, you press the middle button and you can cycle through different colors with the middle button when you can also turn the, the power up and down with the left and right button. So turning the power up and down is very easy and it's in steps of 20%. So that's really nice and then when you're done with that light, you just push the middle button and it goes back into sleep mode uh, and then you can keep it like that the rest of the day. So you don't really have to turn the light off throughout the day and I like that feature. Um, so having the three buttons is very, very nice. Now the beam angle is 100 degrees. Uh, the beam temperature is 5,000 degrees Kelvin, which I find to be, uh, you know, it's a bit on the colder side, but I like that look, especially when you combine it with ambient light. It makes the colors look a little richer in my opinion. The CRI rating on the light is 90, and what that means is that when you turn the light on and you shine it on a subject, the colors of the subject are replicated as they would be under sunlight, very, uh, very close to what sunlight would actually do. So if you have a CRI rating of 100, that means it's exactly what it would look like under sunlight, uh, and then if you're at zero, the colors look nothing like that. So a CRI rating of 90 is very high end, that's a very nice professional light, and the color reproduction from the light is awesome. Now, the light is protected by two O-rings, a dual O-ring system. I've never had it flood. It's fairly unlikely that it'll flood because you got the two O-rings. If it were to ever flood, all you'd have to do is replace the battery. The light itself is sealed uh, to the outside world, and you don't really have to worry about uh, the light head breaking, so you get to save your light if there's a flood. Now, one of the cool features of the light is that it actually has a burst mode, and it also has a port for a remote control. So if you hook it up uh, to your camera via fiber optic cable, the 6,000 lumen light will burst at 8,000 lumens and the 4,000 lumen light will burst at 6,000 lumens. And that is a nice feature to have for photography. It's not as bright as a strobe, but if you're in a pinch, you need some extra light on a subject, it's really nice to have this burst mode. So I mentioned that there's a remote control port 
Uh, that allows you to uh, c connect the a fiber optic cable from the light to a remote control which you attach to your housing uh, in your, or your tray and if you touch that remote control you don't have to touch both the lights it'll automatically control the lights and you can adjust your power and settings from that remote control uh, so there's full compatibility with that universal remote control. Now the lights themselves come with this nice carrying case they also come with uh, a ball mount and a YS mount. I really like the YS mounts because then you get that extra angle of motion. And they also come with a few Allen keys so you can do anything that you need to do uh, when you're taking off the YS mount or switching it with the ball mount. So that's kind of a brief overview of the light. Now I'm going to run through some of the settings and then I can give you some of my thoughts uh, from the footage that you saw. Now to turn on the light, like I mentioned, you press two buttons and then the middle button cycles through. If you press the light three times, it goes to an RGB mode and it actually switches through colors. So when you get to the color that you like, you can hit that color. Uh, let's say I wanna do purple. You hit the button once in the center and now it's on purple. So when you cycle through your colors again, now you've got your RGB mode and that's, on, that's purple right there. So let's run through some of the beams of light. I'm gonna keep it at a lower power so it doesn't completely blind you guys, or me for that matter. Um, the first light is the full flood light. Now this is what you want to use for video. It's a white light and it's 100 degrees. I think it's good to have two lights if you're shooting wide angle, especially with a fisheye. Otherwise, one light does just fine for macro with both the 6000 and the 4000. Uh, the next color is red. So red is great for sneaking up on subjects and I've been able to do whole night dives with the red light and not have to worry about all those little worms and little fish that get in your way on a night dive. So I really like that feature and I use it all the time. Green, I don't really know what to do with green yet, uh, but it's kind of a cool color. It's really nice for creative photography. So if you wanna do some backlighting behind your subject, uh, or you want to add a little bit of a green tinge, it could be pretty cool for creative photography. Same with the RGB modes. Now blue is a very useful light because you're able to see underwater fluorescence with the blue light, especially if it's strong fluorescence. You can see it even without a yellow uh, filter over a mask. But if you do combine this light with a yellow filter and um, on the camera, uh, and on your mask, you'll be able to actually take fluorescent video or photos. So I've used the lights to do that and it's pretty cool um, as well. And finally, the UV feature is kind of cool. It also brings out fluorescence, but honestly, the blue light uh, is a better exc excitation tool than UV. So I actually use the blue light more than I do the UV. Um, and then finally, you've got your RGB mode, which I said, if you press the light three times in the center, it'll cycle through those RGBs. And then you can pick whatever color you want. Let's pick this cool greenish yellow. So the world's your oyster with both these lights. You really have full creative control and that's what I like about it. Uh, those are all the settings. Finally, if you press and hold the on and off button uh, for longer than two seconds, it goes into an SOS mode and uh, that can be useful if you're in a survival situation or you need to get somebody's attention. Now, personally, um, I've used both lights for actually a couple of months now, and I brought them on multiple trips to Mexico. It's been a really awesome time using them. Both lights are exactly the same other than burn time and power. Uh, so I recommend the 6000s. If you're gonna be doing wide angle video, I would definitely choose the 6000s over the 4000s. You can do the 4000s for wide angle, uh, but if you're in shallow water with bright sunlight, the 6000s are gonna give you enough power to, to fight that ambient light and to get some color out of your subjects. Uh, and then if you can even go with the Kraken 8000s, which came out earlier this year, um, that's even better for wide angle video. Both lights are awesome for macro, and one of my favorite accessories is this macro snoot attachment. Um, so this new attachment, I believe, retails for about $170, and it screws right onto the front of the light. And I've been ragging on some lights recently that have come out with uh, snoot attachments, attachments that don't have these um, lenses in them. This is a real snoot attachment that has optical lenses that condense the light into something a little bit stronger. So it's very similar to the Dive Pro snoot lights. Um, it's not quite as strong as the Dive Pro snoot lights, but it's very strong and I've been able to get some great snoot video with it. So if I turn on this light, 
you can see there's the snoot beam. Now the beam looks doesn't look very bright uh, above water, but underwater the, the lenses really condense the light into a very small beam, and that's what gets that cool snoot video. Um, oh, my light is dead. I've been using this on a dive recently. Um, let's switch to this other one. All right. So one of the other cool features of the snoot is it has this little filter tool that changes the size of the aperture of the snoot. So let's put it right there. I'm gonna turn the snoot on and you can see I can change the size of the aperture of the snoot. And that's very useful for different size subjects. So if you need to make it smaller for smaller subjects, you can do that. Again, this doesn't look very bright because we are not underwater. So underwater, the snoot light gets really condensed and it's actually fairly bright. So if you're a macro shooter and you want a really cool accessory, I highly recommend the snoot as your first accessory uh, with these video lights. And if you're just a snoot, video shooter and you want a very versatile system, this will do wide angle and macro very well. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, a snoot attachment like this will give you a nice clean black background and also a really high contrast on your subjects, which really helps isolate your subjects when you're taking video and macro video. You could try using the snoot for wide angle video. I think it could be an interesting look, uh, but it's gotta be in the right case and maybe for more close focus wide angle. All right, so let's wrap up this review with prices. Uh, the Kraken 4000 is 499 and the Kraken 6000 is 699. I do think they're valued and priced very well uh, for what they can do, especially now that they have all these great features, a snoot attachment, and really everything you need to take wide angle macro video. Now, what's really nice about these lights right now is they are on sale for 20% off. Uh, over Black Friday with Blue Water Photo, so reach out to us or just buy them through the link in the description below. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like button down below, I'd really appreciate that, uh, especially if you like the video footage. And if you have any questions, drop them below, we'll answer as soon as possible. Until then, we'll see you next time.